Alrighty guys, what is up? So in today's video, I've had a lot of people ask me on stream, how do I get started on YouTube? How, you know, how can I do this with only having minimal equipment? And I had to learn this myself, so you're, you know, it's going to be a little rough, but I, I think it's something that's definitely going to help a lot of people in being able to, you know, grow the YouTube community as a whole. And what I did is I got on Ken's Xbox and I've basically gone through the whole process of uploading videos, like, you know, saving a clip and then going, not just uploading it from your Xbox to YouTube. And yes, you can do that if that's all you have and that is a great way to do it. But if you want to make it as a little bit better quality and, you know, a little bit more production value in it, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So without further ado, guys, we're going to roll the intro and get right on into it. Alrighty guys, so after you've gotten your clip on what you want, rather it be a kill or anything, obviously just to upload, you'll just hurry and go here and record what happened last 30 seconds. So now that that will capture that for us, that will be captured. And then we'll just go ahead and finish out the game as well. Alrighty, so when you get that sweet Vic Roy, you know, with those, uh, you know, nasty clean snipes and, you know, you want to start cranking those houses on people, I can't build. <laughs> Same thing, just record what happened last 30 seconds. So once we have that done, we are actually going to just to close out Fortnite real fast because we don't need to be in here anymore. Once you're at your main menu, you're just going to press your home button, come over to here. The recent captures most of you guys will probably already know how to do this just from playing on xbox um just go on this xbox so right now it'll be uploading it to your xbox live so you can go and you find it you know on your phone or anything um and we can do that as well there'll be a couple of different ways you can upload to your phone um and then you can if you want to do it that way you can just skip ahead to the part where i show you how to edit it on your phone your tablet or anything like that so let's say this video this is the last one we got right before the game ended and we want to trim it because we don't want to see me running at the end. You know, like we, we don't want to see all this running right here. We just want to see, you know, let's just say the last right there. Let's go like that. You know, you don't want to see me running around. You just want to see me hit this, you know, clean snipe to, you know, win the game, you know, because that's how clutch I am. So once you have that. We have our final video right here 1080p 60 frames a second it's not a terrible recording you know see i hit those i hit those <laughs> anyways so once you've got that and you've got those all done and you've you know got it aligned how you need it to um we're gonna go ahead and just actually delete this old one because we won't need it so we have all of our clips right here we have seven clips so now at this point we still just need to wait for these to finish and so while those are finishing we're gonna actually jump over to the phone and I'm gonna show you how to capture these and how to get them onto your phone and how to edit them so we're gonna jump right on over into that alrighty so once we're in our captures right here we're gonna to want to click on this little button right here and save it we're gonna to want to save that to your phone you're gonna to want to allow it access to save and then you're going to let that you're going to wait for that to save so however long that takes don't back out of this screen just make sure it saves all the way so that that way you get a crisp clean video perfect so now that we have this one saved we can go and we're going to repeat that for every single clip that we've made that we want to put into this video so we're going to go right here save this guy as well and so once you've saved all those um make sure that you know where they're at and then we're going to jump in over to the next step and the app i will, will preferably recommend using is adobe premiere rush now the main reason i love this one is just because it is just simple and i'm used to adobe already so we're gonna you know create a new project we're gonna want to add our media photos and videos let's go right here we can see oh hey look there is some uh photos of me right there that we're going to be blurring out those in the video, but we see our clips right here. Alrighty, so we're going to be creating a new project. And we can see right here that we have all of our videos in our phone. I'm going, a lot of these are TikToks. <laughs> I, I, 
I watch a lot of TikTok. Anyways, we see our three clips up there. We're going to throw these in. Boom. So now we are in our sequence where we can kind of scroll through and just kind of go through these. Um, so right now we can just, you know, press play and it will be going. So we can see on the right side, you can see your sound bar kind of moving on the right side of my phone screen. So that's going to be your sound volume. So you can see me moving around here. It's going to have my voice in it and everything. And we have these three clips. So let's say we want to add an effect to this one. If we want to add a cross dissolve, See, and you can also kind of zoom them in like this to kind of get it down to the second. We're going to go like this and put a transition right there. So now that, that transition is there, you can press play and it will do a smooth transition that way. And you can do this with anything. You can add music as well. Like let's just go, we want to add media. Let's go back, add audio. So we go to songs. Um, let's just do, <laughs> let's just do this one because it's not copyright and it's just my phone's ringtone. So <laughs> we have this in here now. Let's zoom it back out and pick this up. We're going to click on this little side bar and we'll be able to move them where we need them to. So we can double tap on that and move that to the beginning. So now that when we come to the start, we have music. And the music on that will be really loud. You don't want that on the right side. You see where that is going into the red sometimes. If it's barely, barely peaking the red, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But what we can do is we can go and we can actually fix that by going right here. And now this brings up our like tracks. So we have our video file up top and then we have our music on the bottom okay so once we have our clip here and we're ready to go to preview it the best way to do it is just to turn your phone on its side like this and this way you're able to watch your video you can add any effects as well through this if you want to add text as well um, you certainly can do that if we just flip our phone back up you can see you know titles you can just add basic texts um, stuff like that effects you can just go oh, there's a bunch right here like motion you can auto reframe it and just stuff like that there's a lot you can do with this but this is just the simplest way to get started and every editing software is going to be different but that is okay just learn what works best for you you know a lot of people are on pc rather prefer davinci resolve or sony vegas versus you know adobe premiere i've just always ran adobe premiere just that's been my favorite so once we have this and we are ready let's upload this so from here we want quality settings we want 1080p match frame rate so this is pushing out at 1080p at 30 frames a second audio channel stereo quality high so we can then export this so then this is going to take the longest amount of time out of everything while this renders, especially if you're pushing out, you know, an eight to 10 minute video. Um, but just let it sit there. Don't, you know, just don't mess with anything on it. Just let it do its thing. And then it will be ready to upload for you guys. All right, guys. So now that that is finished, um, it's just going to bring this up. If you're enjoying Premiere Rush, you can, you don't have to. So now that it's ready to share, we can share it to TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you know, whatever you're wanting to do. In this example, we're going to use YouTube. So to publish this, you know, you'll go in and then this is going to take you to the YouTube sign in. Um, and I have a bunch on here, which I'm not going to sign in. Um, these will actually all just be blurred out just so you don't see my emails that I use. Um, but anyways, once you're there, you'll just sign into your channel. And then from there, like we'll just click on this one with Gimpy. Say we want to sign into this one. So then once you're here, you're going to want to allow this to manage YouTube, manage YouTube account. This basically just says, yes, this can upload to my channel. So once you're here, you can create a thumbnail, which I'll show you how to do in another video. So let's say the title, we want this to be Fortnite. I can't type epic moments. Boom. Fortnite epic moments. You can add a description, you know, whatever you want to do on here. Um, make sure to subscribe and then tags. Um, tags are what you will search on YouTube that will make a video pull up. So if I was to search up Gimpy, 
my channel will pull up because all my tags all my videos have gimpy tagged in them or if you search up fortnite funny moments so if we were to put that in here i can't type fortnite funny moments boom so that will add a tag there and you can separate these in here by adding commas the system will pick that up so fortnite funny moments will be one so if someone was to google fortnite funny moments there's a better chance of them finding your video category we're going to put it in gaming obviously playlist if you have a playlist that you're wanting to put them in great um i usually will put them private when i upload them just so i can go back and rewatch it and make sure and like add my end screens and stuff like that um i'll be able to show you guys that in a later video as well just with the kind of the mobile aspect of it but once you have that set up and you're ready to go publish and so that's going to come up for me because that is just my main account like it's not the actual gimpy channel this is just the one that's with my email but then it'll go through a publishing loading screen for you while that uploads so once that's all done i mean that's pretty much all there is to it and once you are done with that your video is uploaded you're ready to go so anyways guys that's pretty much all i've got for you i hope this helped those people that are wondering you know how can i make quality content with just an xbox and my phone it doesn't take a lot to start out like if you were to honestly ask me what my biggest you know thing about youtube is is don't start out big don't start out buying all the expensive equipment don't start out buying all the lights the cameras you know the four three four thousand dollar pc like it's not worth it like you you just saw there that i'm able to push out a 1080p video 30 frames a second which is what the human eye sees and was what youtube pushes out regardless for absolutely free with what i had the only exception is going to be adobe premiere rush which i just actually googled it while we we're sitting there it's ten dollars a month for that um just for rush but like i said there are many many free editors that you can use so you can just go and do that and upload it you know just don't be afraid to upload a video like if you guys go back and watch my first videos they're terrible like i was using a free video editing software and I'm not saying your videos will be terrible. Don't take it that way whatsoever. But that's all there is to it. You just have to start recording. That, that's all there is to it. That's how YouTube works. Start recording, upload a video. And as you guys see, you know, you don't get that many views at first, but all it takes is one video to blow up, you know? So that's pretty much all I've got for you guys. Um, I really hope you guys appreciated this. Um, you know, and if you guys do or have any other questions, you know, drop them below in the comments. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe as well. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one.